It's tomorrow. Uh, first scrimmage, uh, defense team to have that for hand. What is the offense going to do tomorrow to be successful? Offense just needs to worry about the little things. Every time we did a play, it was one mistake here, one mistake there that led it from a 60-yard run to a four or three-yard run. We just got to work on those little things that will hopefully make us a complete offense. Two weeks into drills, how do you evaluate the offense so far, just overall? Oh, offense is looking good. It's, it's tough to see the progress because we have such a good defense right now, but we're making strides every day. We're getting a little better. And so every we can see it on film every week. It's just a little better and better, and things are meshing. Offensive line, how, how, is, how are you guys coming together? Um, offensive line's great. Obviously, the O-line has great chemistry already. And so if we can get the ball moving, that'll help offense get more yards. Okay. Best of luck tomorrow. Thank you. Second scrimmage tomorrow, uh, good chance to, to evaluate both units. What are you expecting to see? Well, you know, we've made a lot of progress with regards to schematic insertion, and we need to reduce the game just to players playing. And so, you know, as many situations as we can put them in and watching them execute with the emphasis in the scrimmage. Defense had the upper hand last week. Uh, you expect the offense to fight back again tomorrow? Well, we have put the offense into some tough situations early. You know, we've thrown a lot at them, a lot of coverage, a lot of blitz, a lot of uh, scheme that are really difficult to get your timing in early. Uh, we've seen improvement in that uh, you know, in, the, in the second week of camp, and we're looking to see better execution in those situations tomorrow. So, uh, you know, I hope to see plays on both sides of the football. You know, defense making their fair plays, as will the offense. And, uh, you know, when we reduce the game down to fundamentals, it's going to be who's playing their, their technique the best. It's going to win, and that's what we want to see tomorrow. Any particular position battles uh, really going to play out in these next couple scrimmages? You know, we've had a lot of competitive tension in all of our positions. You know, and, and uh, you know, I think there's some guys that are pushing each other in, in scrimmage situations. The only time when you get a chance to really show if you're better than somebody, that's when we need to see it. So, guys that are you know are in a supporting role or trying to start, they need to show that they're worthy of that kind of. Uh, uh, recognition. So uh, starters need to hold their spot. Guys that are going to challenge need to be play better than the other guys in front of them. They expect any depth chart to change, and, and uh, that's the importance of the scrimmage tomorrow. Okay. Thanks, coach. Of the scrimmage tomorrow, what the defense is hoping to accomplish. We got to come out and execute. That's been a problem the last couple of years. Have that 10 plus one syndrome. Ten people doing it the right way, one person doing it wrong. So, as far as I'm concerned, execution and effort. Had a the team had a the unit had a great scrimmage last week. What do you do to carry that over this week? Uh, preparation. Guys getting in their books, studying their stuff so they can come out, execute. Um, that's basically pretty much it. Defensive line seem to be coming together. Uh, you and Bilbrey are with a gr bunch of new guys. Uh, how's the whole group meshing together? This it's, it's good. It's, it's real good. We got some transfers, some new guys come in, they got high motors. I mean, we're still working at Kingside with technique and things like that. But as far as effort, I mean, that's all you can ask D-Lineman to do is go get after the quarterback. Cool. Good luck tomorrow. Thanks, Steve.